Hi, my name is Jason Shufferbotham. I'm currently the professional at uh, Trevon, the assistant at Rill, and also teaching out of Prestatton Golf Club. Uh, I started playing golf at the age of eight. Uh, my dad introduced me into the game. I didn't really have any interest at the beginning, and then I started taking up the game more seriously when I was about 10 and 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Um, I started playing, started playing county golf at a very young age um, and then obviously worked my way up through the North Wales and then the Welsh ranks. I um, played my first Welsh international, it was a friendly against Yorkshire, it was an under 16s match at the Celtic Manor and it was held on or hosted on the Wentwood Hills which is now obviously the, the 2010 course or most of the course is the 2010 course, the Ryder Cup course. Um, and then I just carried on my development really. Um, went on to represent Wales at under 16s, under 18s, under 21s, and full international level. Um, but by the time I was 18, I'd through playing representing Wales in Europe and in the home internationals, I'd uh, earned a scholarship to play golf in America at the University of Alabama, Birmingham, UAB, where a couple of big names have come out of since. Obviously, Graham McDowell played there. And now one guy who's on the European tour who's making quite a name for himself is Paul Dunn, who's leading the Open last year at St Andrews, who's a very good friend of mine. I turned pro August 2012. I went about playing at the start. Um, I turned pro literally, I hold my last putt on the 17th or 18th green. Um, at Ganton at the Men's Home Internationals for Wales, that was my last cap. Uh, and I turned pro straight after that moment. And I went to tour school that year and I followed up the, the next year as well. I was, unfortunately, I was sick at the first tour school I made and I didn't qualify on the following year. I just missed out on the first stage. Um, and then I decided to go into the PGA programme just this last September, so I'll be entering my second year in August as a, as a trainee. And I, I just decided to go down that route because um, I needed a bit more direction really and I thought if I, if I can't make it plain I'd much rather help people develop their own games and help them to become better players and improve. Uh, I got to plus four was the lowest I got uh, as an amateur. Um, I, had a, I had a decent world ranking at one point, I'm not sure, I couldn't give you the exact facts on how high I got up in the world rankings but they have two, they've got the Randa and they've got, which is the RNA world rankings and they've got the scratch players. I think I, I think I got in the top 70 in the scratch players at some point, so played to quite a high standard as an amateur. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple of really good individual results as, a, as an amateur. I got to the semi-final of the British Amateur and lost the, the winning finalist, Drew Weaver, in 2007 at Royal Lytham. Uh, I won the Welsh Amateur back-to-back um, -back years at Aberdovian Harlech in 2011-2012. I think I joined a, a very small list of people to actually defend that crown, so that was quite an honour. Um, I, I won in America. Um, I mean, I, probably my greatest achievement is getting to play all over the world, representing Wales, re represent myself through university, earning a scholarship, and just being fortunate enough to play golf on near enough every continent on the planet. Obviously, I'm in the PGA program now, so I want to help people improve their games, not just from a coaching standpoint. Uh, as, or rather a technical coaching standpoint, also help people improve the way they practice. So helping people not become one dimensional where you've got to hit 3,000 balls a day. You know, try and help people to understand there's more ways, more, more than one way to skin a cat if you like and really help try and give people a different perspective on the game from different angles and how they may be able to improve that way. And also, I'm, I don't feel as though I'm done with the game yet playing. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm playing quite a lot on the, the PJ North region and the, all the PJ events and I, I'd like to give it a good go and hopefully st maybe still get a European tour card. Well, there's a, there's a couple, but the one that, that's really jumping out at, at me at the most, one was in victory, who was chipping in on the final hole against Rhys Pugh um, on the 36th hole of the final of the Welsh Amateur match play at uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, I was one up playing the last and I hit a terrible second shot, a horrendous second shot with an eight iron. And I had a tricky little pitch and I just nipped it beautiful and it just dropped in. So that was a really nice way to win a championship if you like. And the other one that jumps out at me was playing in the home internationals at Woodall Spa for Wales. And 
I was the last match out on the course, and I was I think I was two down with two down with three to play, and we needed to win to beat to win the home internationals when we were playing against England. So obviously with Wales England rivalry, that was quite a big match, and I hold a, a monster putt on the 17th to get it all square, and I hold a great putt on the last, but unfortunately the young gentleman I was playing with hold a putt for birdie on the last to beat me and that meant that England retained the trophy but so I've got two good memories there but one in one in victory and one in defeat probably the Sam Hall intercollegiate that was a, in a tournament in America I shot nine under par for three three rounds and I shot 65 in the last round so that was that was probably the, the sweetest victory Nearly had a hole in one on a par four once in a college am in um, in America. Ball was about 320 yard hole and drive slightly downhill. I drove the green, it rolled back, and we thought from the tee that it had gone in, but it was just the flag was just masking the ball. And when we got there, it was about half an inch behind the hole for a, an albatross. So that wasn't far off there. <laughs> um, that's a that's a great question. Um, I think the biggest thing you can do. Uh, as a player or even as a coach is really sort of drill into a player that you need a good routine something that you can do over and over again so it's a way of taking the negatives and just focusing on what you're doing if you can focus on routine and do something the same every time it's a great way of building consistency and that can obviously put you in a positive frame of mind and sort of take you away from what's going on outside the box and get you sort of inside the box and focusing and where you need to hit it and asking yourself the right questions and following your routine. Probably just a thoughtless, a thoughtlessness uh, process. So like I say, routine's massive, but I think the, the, main, the main thing I see with playing with members at the di at respective different clubs, they're just standing on the tee. They're not really getting a, giving it a whole lot of thought how far they're hitting it, et cetera, et cetera, how far the run outs are. They're just standing there with driver, couple of practice swings and they let it fly, not really picking out targets. You see a lot of bad, poor fundamentals, basics, alignment, grip, that sort of thing. So probably just their own worst enemy really, rather than trying to seize the initiative and sort of where am I going to hit this and picking a solid target and just standing up there and giving it a whack. It's difficult because what I tend to do is I try and keep statistics. So. I'll, I'll reflect on a tournament and I'll look at an area and then I'll shift my practice patterns around so if I'm maybe my short game's a little bit poor I'll try and spend a bit more time on my short game um, trying to iron out them you know the, the discrepancies if you like uh, but when I'm practicing sort of long game I'll always put an alignment mm -hmm. stick down make sure my alignment's good you know make, really focusing on the, the fundamentals because if, if, if the fundamentals aren't in a great position, that, that can, can lead to a lot of common faults in the golf swing. The best golfer I've probably witnessed would be Rory McIlroy. I'm the same age as Rory, so I played, I haven't, I haven't played with him directly, but I've played in a number of tournaments that he was playing in as an amateur, and well, the, his talent is off the charts. I actually got to play a golf hole with Gary Player. And um, <clears throat> he, he's, his number one thing uh, that day, and probably his mantra, if you like, was always turn the core, turn the core to the target and finish fully. And I, that always sort of stuck with me. He was, strictly speaking, just talking about the golf swing. He was all about the energy's got to move forward. You've got to finish nice and balanced on the left side. Use the core, use the core. Um, but... One of the best quotes I ever heard from Dyeth Llewellyn, and that's probably was instrumental in my match day, uh, sorry, match play um, days when I was playing for Wales, because I used to have quite a good record for Wales. But he always used to say, play every hole like you're all square going out on the 18th. And that sort of made you switch on on every hole rather than, well, a bit lackadaisy. On, so that always stuck with me as well. A lesson can help any player improve you know any all different standards of golf from the, the highest to the very lowest to be total beginners um, I think it's more important of the player development on how well the coach can get his message across so 
no end, you know, the, uh, the answer to your question is of course lessons are going to help an individual. It's more important how the coach interacts with the player to help him understand what he's trying to get the player to do. Don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. How many Holland ones have you had? One. <laughs> Who's going to win the Ryder Cup? Europe. Favourite club in the bag? Putter. Greatest golfer of all time? Tiger Woods. Favourite ball flight? Draw. Favourite course? Shoal Creek. Course you would like to play the most? Augusta National. Uh, any favourite holes of any course? Uh, 17th at Sawgrass. Uh, Dream four ball? Hogan, McRoy, Tiger Woods. Best ever round? 61, three times. What would you, if you went a golfer, what would you do? Be a labourer. <laughs> <laughs>